welcome back to my videos we got the impala all taped up we're going to start talking about back masking so we can get this all painted up so we got a few rolls of tapes this is a generic tamiya brand different widths these are great because they don't leave too much residue and they're easy to work with for cutting and stuff got your hobby knife number 11 always sharp always new little scissors for here and there and of course some tweezers to help hold some pieces around so we're gonna go ahead and speed up and we're just gonna start covering everything around the panels that we laid out in the previous video so you can use the tape and just lay it down as it goes or just start cutting pieces to where you need and fit them so I usually start with the longer areas box it all up as you see here cut some small pieces Then I'll put my previous leftover strips from when I was cutting on my glass. I'll go ahead and I use those up as well. Usually don't throw any tape away. This piece is a good fit to get right in between those panels. So I'm covering all this up because I'm only going to paint inside those panels. I don't want to paint outside of those panels. On this particular commission paint job, the main body will stay silver as you see with a few little highlights here and there now I'm gonna cut this little tiny pieces so I can get the uh, contours a little radiuses the tapes are leaving corners and they're leaving a little spot so I like to cut these little bits get my tweezers and start placing them on the radiuses so I'll get a little bit closer in a bit wasn't paying attention to the where the body was in the frame, but just to get those curves. With the white tape, you can't curve around too much. You wanna get all the little bits. So pretty much I'm just gonna do this to the whole body. So all the panels I laid out, I did remove the uh, panels I did on the rooftop because that was just for the first video. I was excited to get this going, so I'm still trying to figure out all this editing, voiceovers, and speeding up and cutting stuff into it. But there's the body all covered up. It is ready for its first spray. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this part. So the top is going to be a different color, so you have two options. You can lay the tape over and again with a sharp blade. You could cut along the body line and remove it just like that or what you could do is I'll show you on the other side you can go ahead and get a piece and if the radius isn't too much you can go ahead and just cut your piece to the size and radius that you need so it's up to you depending on the application if you don't have a big body line or something that you won't see where the blade cuts into it but right here we won't see any blade cuts um, you could do the first option or you could do this option if uh, you actually want to do a two-tone and just cut it to the curves that you need so now here we go getting ready to paint so this is all 0 0.0 airbrushes cheapy from Amazon the first one's a 0 0.02 those are for my small fades this one is a 0 0.03 that's for my solid colors and then this is a 0 0.05 for the chunky comet silver that's on the body from Tropical Glitz. And the final one's a 0 0.05 for my clear, which is a two-part clear, which hopefully I'll be getting to soon. So a good shake of the Tropical Glitz. All right, we're going to use this for our top and our fades. This paint is ready to go. You could buy it where you mix it yourself. I prefer by Ready to Spray RTS. I'm checking my pressure, which I'm at about 25, and I'm making sure that I'm not spraying too much. I'm adjusting the little knob on the back, so I just get a small spray, and I'm going to start spraying right above my line. I'm not actually spraying the panel. I'm going to spray above the line, allowing the overspray to cause a fade, because I really want to keep those silver panels open, so you can see there. Most of the paint is on the tape, not the actual panel, allowing the overspray to create our fade. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and cover the top in the cloudy days. It's a metallic black with a bit of blue in it. Real nice. This paint dries quickly. It's great to work with. I can go ahead and start taping right away again. I mean, it's a matter of minutes. It's dry. It's great stuff. Hopefully I remember to add the link. If I don't remember to add the link, it is tropicalglitz.com. I'm going to clean my airbrush out with some lacquer thinner. Pour a little bit in there. This cheapy airbrush, somebody taught me, is to maintain your airbrush. Keep it clean. Don't let it sit there. So I'm going to rinse it out because I'm going to do some other paintings and get ready for some more videos, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, please ask in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks, y'all.